It's Nern TV. And in the year 1876, Anumundi, Terah begat Abram. And Abram grew up to be a wise man. And in 1925, Anumundi, Abram took for himself a wife, and her name was Sarai. And it came to pass that the family of Terah went into the land of Canaan, and while there, Yahuwah came to Abraham and said, To thee and to thy seed will I give this land. And over the years, the house of Abraham increased and he was wealthy. And in the year 1964, Anomundi, the same year Lot departed and was taken captive by four kings and Abraham saved him, on the Feast of Weeks in that same year, Yahuwah came to Abraham in a dream, and Yahuwah promised him a son from his own bowels, and his seed will be as countless as the stars. And Abraham made offerings to Yahuwah that day. Abraham was very joyful, and he told Sarai about his dream. But Sarai could not bear a child. And Sarai advised her husband, Go in unto Hagar, my Egyptian maid, and maybe we will have a son by her. And so he did, and Hagar bare him a son in the year 1963, Anomundi, and his name was Ishmael. And in the year 1979, Anomundi, Abraham celebrated the Feast of Weeks, and God Almighty came to him. And Yahuwah said that he will fulfill all that he said. And God changed Abraham's name to Abraham, for the father of many nations I have made of thee. And for Sarai, her name shall now be Sarah. And God said, I shall bless her with a son by thee, and he will become a nation. And kings of nations will proceed from him. And it came to pass that in the year 1986, Anomundi, the angels appeared to Abraham and announced to him a son. And in that same month, the fourth month, Yahuwah passed his judgment on the land of Sodom and Gomorrah. For they had become wicked sinners exceedingly. And all of them perished save for Lot and his daughters. And in the sixth month, in the middle of this month, Yahuwah visited Sarah, and she conceived. And in the middle of the third month, in the year 1987, Anamundi, she gave birth to Isaac. And this is ordained and written in the heavenly tablets, that from the sons of Isaac, the seeds of his sons will not be Gentiles, and one would become a holy seed. But for the rest of Abraham's sons, all the seeds of their sons should be Gentiles. And Hagar and her son Ishmael were expulsed due to Sarah becoming jealous with Ishmael. But God didn't forsake them, for Ishmael is also Abraham's son. And Yahuwah visited Hagar and told her that Ishmael too will become a nation. And in the year 2003 Anomundi, there were voices in heaven regarding Abraham as being most righteous. And the prince Mastemas said before the Yahuwah, Behold, Abraham loves his son Isaac. Bid him to offer Isaac as a burnt offering on the altar. And thou wilt see if he would obey. Thou wilt know if he is faithful in everything. And God did command Abraham to do this, and he did put Isaac on that altar, and he was stopped by an angel from sacrificing him. And thus Abraham proved his faithfulness once again, and Yahuwah blessed him. And in the year 2024, Anamundi, Sarah died. And she was buried in the land of the double cave in Hebron.
And in the year 2027, Anamundi, Isaac, son of Abraham, took a wife and her name was Rebekah. And Abraham took to himself a third wife and her name was Keturah. And it came to pass that Keturah would bear Abraham six children within a span of 14 years. And they were Zimram, Jokshan, Medan, Midian, Ishbak, and Shua. And in the year 2046, Anamundi, Rebekah, wife of Isaac, bare him two sons, Esau and Jacob. They both struggled in the womb of their mother. And Esau and Jacob grew up differently from each other. Esau the older was a man of the field, while Jacob was a smooth and upright man. Jacob learned how to write, but Esau didn't, for he was a hunter, and he learned war, and he was fierce. And Abraham loved Jacob, but Isaac loved Esau, for Abraham saw the deeds of Esau. And Abraham knew that in Jacob should his name and seed be called, and he blessed Jacob. And in the year 2052 Anomundi, Abraham called all his sons and grandsons. Ishmael and his twelve sons, Isaac and his two sons, and Abraham's six sons by Keturah and their sons. And these are Abraham's last words to his sons and grandsons. He commanded them to observe the way of Yahuwah. They should work righteousness and love each his neighbor. They should circumcise their sons according to the covenant which God had made with them. And Abraham had laws against fornication of all sorts, and he advised his sons not to be wicked like the people of Sodom and Gomorrah, and walk not after idols and molten images, walk not after their uncleanness, for idols are for vanity, there is no spirit in them, and they are only the work of men's hands. Do this, and they will be blessed." And he gave to Ishmael and to his sons and to the sons of Keturah gifts and sent them away. And to Isaac his son he gave everything. And Ishmael and his sons and the sons of Keturah and their sons all went together and dwelt in the lands facing the desert. And they mingled with each other, and their name was called Arabs and Ishmaelites. And Abraham blessed Jacob, for he knew that from Jacob's seeds will arise the holy seed. And Abraham died, and the scriptures say he lived three jubilees and four weeks, 175 years. And it came to pass after the death of Abraham that Yahuwah blessed Isaac. And in the year 2080 Anamundi, a famine began in the land of Hebron where he lived. One day while Jacob was making some red soup called Edom, Esau arrived from the field and he was hungry. And he noticed the red soup and he asked for it. Give me of this red soup, said Esau. And Jacob said to him, Sell to me your birthright, and I will even add some bread along with the red soup. And Esau said in his heart, I am dying. Of what profit to me is this birthright? And he said to Jacob, I give it to thee. And Jacob answered, Swear to me this day. And Esau swore unto him. And Esau ate until he was satisfied. And he despised his birthright. And for this reason, Esau's land was named Edom for the red soup. And the seeds of Esau were known as the Edomites. And Jacob became the elder, and Esau was brought down from his dignity. And when the famine was over, God appeared to Isaac and instructed him to go to Gerar in the land of the Philistines. 
During the time of Abraham, he had built wells to keep water, but when he died, the Philistines filled the wells with sand. And Isaac dug the wells again that his father had built without any help from the Philistines, whom he had sworn an oath to make peace with. And he knew that he had sworn under constraint with them to make peace with them. And Isaac cursed the Philistines for their conduct. And he said, Cursed be the Philistines. May Yahuwah make them a derision and a curse and an object of wrath and indignation in the hands of the sinner, the Gentiles, and in the hands of the Kittim. And in the year 2114, Anamundi, Isaac, was ill and blind and didn't know his time of death. And he called Esau and instructed him to go out and hunt so he can have a savory meal and he will bless Esau. But Rebekah, their mother, heard them and while Esau was away hunting, she devised a way to replace Esau with Jacob and thus Jacob received his father's blessing instead of Esau. And Esau became sad and infuriated, for he got not a single blessing from Isaac, but only a curse unto eternity. And Esau said in his heart, May the days of mourning for my father now come, so that I may slay my brother Jacob. But Rebekah, their mother, heard Esau's plan in a dream, and he admonished Isaac to send Jacob off to Haran in Mesopotamia unto Laban, Rebekah's brother, and Jacob stayed there until his brother's anger subsided. And Jacob went on his journey to Laban, his uncle, and he served him for Rachel, Laban's second daughter, seven years to be his wife. But instead of Rachel, Laban gave Jacob Leah, for Leah is the elder, and it is ordained that one should not give the younger before the elder. And Laban also gave to him Zilpah for a handmaid. And Laban said, Allow these seven days of feast of Leah to pass, and I will give you Rachel so that you may serve me seven more years for her. And Laban gave Rachel to Isaac after the seven days of feast for Leah, and also gave him Bilhah, his handmaid for handmaid. And Jacob served him seven more years for Rachel, for Jacob loved her more than Leah. And Jacob had four wives, Leah, Rachel's older sister and her handmaid Zilpah, and Rachel, his true love, and her handmaid Bilhah, the sister of Zilpah. And these are the sons of Jacob. From the oldest, Reuben from Leah, Simeon from Leah, Levi from Leah, and Judah from Leah. And Rachel was bare, and upon her advice, Jacob begat Dan from Bilhah, her handmaid, and Naphtali from Bilhah. And Leah became bare, and upon her advice, Jacob begat Gad from Zilpah, and Asher from Zilpah. And Leah yet bear more for Jacob. Another son, Issachar, and twins, son and a daughter, Zebulon and daughter Dinah. And from Jacob's beloved Rachel, God was gracious to her and she conceived for him Joseph, their youngest son. Don't forget to click on the notification bell! 
Thank you again for watching. Please support our channel by liking, subscribing now. It's free. Yeah, mga katropa, hanggang dito na lang. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you!